Error Message Handling in BizTalk 2006, the feature we were waiting for. Now, in 2004, if we send a message through that was malformed or didn't follow the structure of the defined schema, the message simply showed up as errored out. So, for example, I have a flat file message here that should have US over in front of Alice Smith, but it doesn't. So, when I send the message through, the message is going to be pulled in by BizTalk, but it's going to fail. And I'm going to see some sort of error over here in, say, BizTalk 2006 that says suspended, but say resumable. I could go into hat. I could try to see exactly what was going on with it. I could go and look at the message details, look at the structure of the message, but fixing it and resending it, not automatically available to me. Now, in BizTalk 2006, here, I have a new property on my receive ports. Very important property, enable routing for failed messages. This now means that I have an error report properties that will be tagged to the message itself. So, for example, I could create a real simple error message handling system by simply adding in a send port and setting up the filter of the send port to say subscribe to any errored out messages that came through that particular receive port. Or I have a few other error report properties that I could base it on like message type, the failure code, report ID, etc. that I could play with here. So now what happens when I send the message through, there's going to be some sort of error to it, but it's going to go directly to a directory in this case that I've set up that I could open it up in see what the problem is, perhaps fix it, and then send it back on through. And in fact, this one was set up so that the messages in that envelope that were good continued on through, but the ones that failed went directly to the error message folder. And this is because I also enabled on the pipeline that I wanted recoverable interchange. So we can extend the entire error message handling system such that you could have a whole orchestration that could subscribe to these error messages, automatically handle them, or perhaps tag them as email attachments and send them to information workers so that they could fix whatever was wrong with those messages and then resend them through the system. So I hope this was helpful, and I hope that you learned something from it.